Hey, welcome to another episode of The Pen. Uh, I am your host, Billy Elias, here for the headquarters of National Scouting Report in New Jersey and in southeastern Pennsylvania. Today, my special guest is Nick Yurcho from uh, Millstone United. I've had a chance to see him play probably four or five times, watch film on him probably six or seven times. Welcome, Nick. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank yeah, you for yeah. Me. Nick, Nick brought me M&Ms. So what that does is catapult him to like top, top five. My, he's my fave right now because I got the M&Ms, although they were the small little boxes. I'm not exactly sure what I can do with small boxes of M&Ms. I was kind of meaning like the big one pound bag, but that's okay. That's, that's okay. That's okay. So uh, do you know who my favorite team is, by the way? Yes. By looking at these, I'm going to take a wild guess and I'm going to say Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, right. And who's your favorite Newcastle player? <sighs> Finally been in a See, they don't know soccer. Dwight Gale. All right. All right. All right, all right. And your club team is Chelsea? Yes. Yeah, of course. And he yeah. likes the Astros. Go figure. All right, uh -huh. okay. So um, so I'm good. it's good to have you. So you can see Nick is kind of um, tall. Six foot four? Six foot four. Maybe six, three and a half. Okay. Somewhere around there. All right. So one of the things about Nick, he, he plays uh, center back, okay? And he has also been used in a role of um, defensive... Center mid. Now, I don't like calling it the set defensive center mids. I call it holding midfielder because when you put kind of that kind of title on it, it means that the defender is just going to kind of sit back and he's going to hold everything. Whereas for me, a holding midfield, holding center mid means I'm going to allow them to come forward and we're going to watch some film yes, later on. This guy comes forward and he's not afraid to come forward. And one of the things I like about how you play is being six foot four, you don't have Peter Crouch syndrome. Meaning, you know, everything's a header, everything's a header, everything's a header. No, I want my six foot four center backs or my six foot four holding midfielders to be able to take the ball down, trap it, and you can do that. So it's more than just his height. He uses his height to his advantage, of course, but there's skill that comes along with it. All right. So um, as we go forward, look, tell me a little bit of how the season's going. Any highlights? Um, the season's been going well. Uh, we have a lot of great victories. Um, my favorite. Part of the season so far was probably when we beat Pipeline Pre Academy at the DTS tournament. Uh -huh. They were coming in, beating everyone seven and eight, six zero, and we took them to the wire and beat them one zero right at the end. Yeah, that's good. And then early on in the season, if I'm not mistaken, you you guys beat one of the top ranked teams in the nation, right? Uh, yes. Um, who did we play? Well, we tied Future. Future. So okay. we tied them 1-1, one, one, and when we played them, they were number three in the nation, there you go. and That's now they're number one. Right. So you tied the number three team in, in, the, in the country. In the country. Now right. the first And you team you were playing center back. Yes, at that time. I was that says a game. lot. That says a lot, you know. So um, talk to me a little bit about, um, well, before we go to the college search, what, I know you guys are in a lot of state cups. I know you had a rough one this weekend. Uh, that, was, that was our league. That was your league. That was our league. Oh, so you had, but it was still a rough loss, right? Yeah. Um, first league loss. First league, uh, yeah, first league loss. Um, we played them earlier in the season. We, I'm pretty sure we tied them 3-3. Three to three. Yeah, we played, It was like that. an indoor scrimmage. Right, right. It wasn't much. Just wanted to feel each other out because we were a mm -hmm. new team. But then we played them yesterday in the league. Um, we didn't play that well. Some of, uh, some of us were tired coming in, but... All in all, I think we did end up playing well. It's just middle of the second half, uh, cross put in, no one really was there. Guy came in, header, free header, right. not much you can do. You're gotcha. not going to miss. Right. If you're in top top ten, even anyone, you're not going to miss from right. the And you were playing, you were, you were playing holding midfield at that time, or, or defensive center mid, whatever. Um, so, okay, so that's good. Now, talk to me a little bit about um, colleges. What's going on with the colleges? I know... You came uh, with me, I guess it was February, February, end of February, and there really wasn't a lot going on. No. Since then, I know that we've it's, had a lot of conversations, So, because there's a lot now that seems yeah. to be going on. Um, can you talk to me a little about it? Um, so when I first joined, I, everything was, hey, come to our camp, come to our camp, and now it's more of like, yeah, we see you, we know who you are. Now we want you to come to our camp so we can really get to feel you. So mm -hmm. then when September 1st comes, right. then it's, hey, we want we, we want to get into more depth conversations. Right. So it's more 
based on me going to their right. colleges. There's colleges like Villanova, Lafayette, um, Clemson. So that's just to name a few. I can't think of well, any Well, Presbyterian, right? Presbyterian as but well. But they yeah. reached out to you, Presbyterian. Yes, and High Point. And High Point, they reached out to you. Yes. And Lafayette reached out to you. And, uh, so, and Villanova. Right, and, and, and you have had contact back and forth yeah. with the coach from Villanova before the new rule went into effect. Yes. The, right, the new rule. The new right. rule. We will talk about the new rule one of these days. Yeah. But So you've had a lot of exposure. Yes. All right. So that's good. So that's good. So um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to show you a couple of clips of Nick, um, and you'll see what I'm talking about when we come back. We're really going to go a little bit more into it. So you ready to watch a few clips? Yes. All right, so we're going to look over there on the monitor, and we're going to roll the video. So, like I said, here's a guy six foot four, not afraid to come forward, which to me is what you want. You know, I'm of the mindset that we attack with 11 and mm -hmm. defend with 11. Yeah. I'm of the mindset when the goalkeeper touches the ball, we're all going forward. We're all going to start on the attack. Yes. What he does with the ball starts the attack from the back. I love the fact that you always look to switch. Mm -hmm. I love that. You always receive away from pressure. And again, you're just not afraid to come forward and make things happen, um, which is really important. For me, the most exciting part of the game is when I watch, would watch one of my uh, defenders come mm -hmm. forward or my holding mitts come forward and score. Yeah. You know, put that shot on goal because the defense, uh, the opponent really doesn't know how to handle when you have that extra man advantage when you're counting. You get a man advantage, a man and a half advantage. Even that half a man advantage coming forward can do damage, and you do that really well. Yes. So I, I really like the way that video shows it off. Um, so I'm going to ask you a couple other things. So, and, I, and I, I've asked this of, of several of the guys in all the interviews I do, you know, and I always sit down from coaching in college. I always say, okay, so besides um, you telling me that, oh, I'm going to be passionate for you, coach. Oh, I'm going to come in. I'm going to work hard for you, coach. Oh, I'm going to be a team player, coach. Oh, you know, I'm going to come in, I'm going to be in the weight room, and I'm going to do everything that I possibly can for you, coach. My question to you is, okay, great, everybody says that. Mm -hmm. But I got $10,000 that I'm looking to give. Yeah. I got a guy that's six foot five. Very similar. What separates you from him? Why would I want to give you the money as opposed to giving him? Well, despite my work on the field, I put a lot of work in on the classroom. Um... I'm not the type of person that will put one over the other. It'll be even. So my classroom work and my work on the field will be even together. So it's not, you know, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna show up to practice. Maybe I don't do my homework this night. No, I'm more driven toward the classroom because without those grades, if something were to happen to me, I would have nothing to fall on. So those grades are really important for me, and I always uh, pride myself on getting good grades in the classroom. Right, and you, and you have a 3.5, yeah. 3.57. Yeah, GPA right now, and you'll be taking the SATs uh, in June. June second, right? Okay, so you'll be taking the SATs coming up. Three point five seven student out of Florence High School, Florence yes. Memorial. Florence Memorial. Gotta get that right. Yeah. Because you know Florence mm -hmm. Memorial. I never even heard of Florence Memorial. Not many people. Then I do. drove out there. I was like, where am I going? <laughs> yeah. Just kept going and going and going. But yeah, so um, what? Yeah, I mean, so I mean, then tell me a little bit more too about. You're athletic, so academically you're going to stand out no matter where you go. You mm -hmm. got what it takes. I've seen your report. I've seen your transcripts. You're, you're a solid 3.57 student, no doubt about it. So tell me a little bit more about your work ethic. You know, what does it consist of? Not all, I, I, we know what it goes on on the pitch. Mm -hmm. I want to know what goes on at the house. I want to know what goes on in the gym. I want to know what the off-field workout for Nick Yurcho looks like. The off-field workout is 
if I don't have practice, I'm either at the gym doing arms, legs, back, chest, something of that nature. And if I'm not at the gym, then I'll be at the track running. I'll do sprint. I'll warm up with a mile. Then I'll do 100, 200, 400, 800, 400, 200, 100, 100. Wow. That just made me tired just listening to you say that. Yeah, and then another mile, not mile and a half to finish it off just as a cool down lap. Dude, that sounds like what we did when I was in the Marines. Yeah. Do you run cadence to it? I don't know. Yeah, nah, <laughs> these guys these days, uh, no. But So listen, man, I'm great having you on. Um, I know we're going to have a lot of big things coming from you. I've seen, Like I said, I've watched you play live, mm -hmm. I don't know, three or four times. You know, your dad's kept me company, your mom keeps me company on the phone. Yeah. So, you know, we're definitely uh, got a long way to go. You're a class 2020, a sophomore. Yep. So you have all these colleges that are now reaching out to you. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, that, that's, that's great. So, um, you know, it's been great uh, having you on. I appreciate it. And you, you know I'll be around next time I want yep. a pound bag of M&M's. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this right episode. There. And stay tuned for what's coming next. Chiote, great strike.